What does that really mean? Sex expert Shannon Boudram is here, my girl. Shannon Boudram is here, and I love her, by the way. She's a sex expert who gives us always the real deal when it comes to sex and relationships. Girl, thank you for being thank here. Thank you for having me. Oh, you are, intro. You are really the best, always. So, what is the deal? What's your information on open relationships? What is it? What is? How does it affect relationships and your growth with a, a person? What can you say? It's essentially an agreement between two people that say that we are open some way. It could be physically, it could be emotionally. It's me and you and maybe that person over there. So essentially you set the boundaries for yourself. But open relationship says that we're not in that traditional style of relationship where we're just monogamous. What do you think? How does, I mean, I guess we don't really have statistics on it, but do you think it betters relationships or does it worsen them? I think I think when you look at the fact that our previous generation has a divorce rate of over 50 percent, uh, the divorce industry is a 43 billion dollar industry, we have to do something different. And I think millennials now are starting to really say, okay, you know what, like we, we got options. When you've got 10 million people on Tinder, people now are, we're meeting more people, we're connecting more and more, more people, so it's likely we're going to have more options. Now why do you think people decide to do open relationships versus just being single? Because the <clears throat> committing is still beautiful. It's still nice to have one person you can go home to, who can massage you, who can take out your hair clips with you. Yes, and then, I love you know, it. It's just, it, we still want to connect with somebody on that really deep level, but we still want to have other experiences. Yes, now, is open relationship usually just uh, you know, an emotional thing, or is it an emotional thing for, you know, one person you're with and then a physical thing for the other person you're with? You set the boundaries. That's exactly it. We can wow. say that, you know what, like, and a lot of people as well, too, are pansexual these days. It's the kind of new millennial term. Mm -hmm. It means, like, you don't, you don't, you're not bisexual or heterosexual or homosexual. Yeah, you just whatever, you know, you just yeah. go with the flow. You're just a leaf blowing in the wind. Yeah. Um, and so when people are like that, they may just want to say, we want to open it up in case I'm attracted to somebody else. Right. But it's not always physical. Like you said, it can be, I met someone really great on the Kiki show and I want to go out to dinner with them and just see where that goes. Wow. But we are honest. That is the key to open relationships. You have to communicate with your partner. There's no sneakiness and the same boundaries do apply. If you break that trust, a lot of people, that's the kill code right there. We're in the kind of generation that, like, I'm sure you've lived in six cities by now in your yes. tender young age. We move a lot. We're changing jobs every four years on average. We're not in that same lifestyle before where we have one city, one job, one man, one cat, one dog, two kids. It's right. a very... I think it just kind of... It, it, it... I, it wouldn't be for me because it's the idea of not being able to have a strong bond with just one person. I want to believe that that's something that really can happen. That I can be just connected to this one person for the rest of my life. But that's how my parents are, so I think that's probably why I feel that way. I now, I want to hear your final comment on the whole open relationship thing. I think, again, you have to be honest with yourself. And it's great that you can say, not for me. Yeah. And you could say, you know what, it is for me. And you could say, it was for a certain time in my life. So always being honest with yourself and creating boundaries that make you feel comfortable, celebrated, and above all else, healthy. Yes! She put a thin on that. That's my girl. Thank you so much. For I love when you come visit us. You got to come visit us again. I will come back over and over again. Yes. Awesome. We are in an open good. relationship right now. I know. We see other people, but I still come back. We're I good. know. It's a good thing we've got going. Please, please, please follow my girl on Twitter and Instagram by typing in at Shannon T. Boudram. That's B-O-O-D-R-A-M.